in my heart. Forgiveness is being nice. Forgiveness is a bunch of sorrows. No forgiveness for girls kissing me. Forgiveness is about caring. Forgiveness means like if you don't hate anybody in your life. Kids get this. Forgiveness is easy, it's clean, it's simple, it's pure. Forgiveness is at our core. It's simply who we are. We're born with it. And then, of course, life happens to us. Pain starts to build up. Maybe we get our hearts broken. Maybe we lose our job. We file for bankruptcy. We lose our homes. We start seeing deep political disharmony, which is going on right now, immigration issues, war, and violence. I'm Sean Duperin, and I'm a filmmaker in Detroit. Project Forgive is a very different kind of film. I got the call around 4.30 in the afternoon from the hospital, from the nurse, saying uh, they had my son Sam at the hospital. Uh, and I said, I'm on my way. And they took me into the family waiting room. And the doctor came in. And the doctor said, they did what they could, but he didn't make it. And I asked, you mean no one made it? And the doctor said, no one made it. And in that moment, I realized um, that I was alone. Gary's wife, Judy, and sons, Sam and Alex, were killed that day by a drunk driver. But what I knew was, was I was the one who was going to get myself up out of bed the next morning. I was the one that had the answer to my actions from that point forward and, and how I treated others and how I treated myself. I was still whole and complete. I knew that this happening to me was for me an opportunity. One of those opportunities was to meet Tom, the man who took his family, the man Gary was already forgiving. Tom asked if I could forgive him. I replied, can you forgive yourself? And he said, I don't know if I ever can. That's this opportunity. We are not what happens to us. Who we get to be is who we say we're going to be in the world. I am clear I'm a bold contribution to the planet. That's, that's really is who I am. Gary's story was the catalyst for this film and one of many that we'll explore. And my family was very close to Gary's family. My children babysat Sammy and Alex. Judy was my husband's business coach. And finding out that day that they were killed by a drunk driver was pretty devastating, as I'm sure you can understand. The story goes even deeper. A few hours later that same day, I get a phone call about the man who had killed Gary's family. And he also happens to be a very dear family friend. So here's the dilemma. On one hand, you have Tom, who caused this horrific accident and horrific pain. And on the other hand, you have Tom, our family friend, who's also a, a loving, amazing human being. So how do we hold these conflicting emotions within our heart at the same time? And this is where the consciousness will shift. This is where the breakthroughs lie. This film will deeply explore how to hold these different perceptions at the same moment so that a miraculous rebirthing can occur, an emotional maturity to happen in our culture that we haven't seen yet. So here's the request. Everybody has a story. Everyone has a story and we want yours. We're using everything. And even if it doesn't make it into the film itself, we'll incorporate it somehow into our DVD series, our book series, because this conversation is so important. 
to submit your story and at the same time help fund this important film and mission, simply click on the Back This Project button and pledge what you're inspired to pledge. After that, you'll receive instructions to share your story if that's something you'd like to do. In talking with Gary, I thought the perfect way to end this video is to tell you about Judy. Judy was a dynamo, powerful, authentic, straight talker, she told you like it is. And if she were here today, this is what she'd say, and this is how she'd say it. She'd say, so I'm dead. Now what? Project Forgive is the now what. If you've been touched by this mission, pledge now. Okay, hey, this is taking forever.